Right, this isn't an outside video, this is an inside video. Now, um, this is on how to make pouches. Now, we all know how to make pouches, or pooches, or whatever you want to call them. But I had some Gore-Tex material left over from a pair of trousers that were sent to me by mistake in the mail from someone on eBay. And uh, he said, keep them, I'll send out your product that you required, which was a 50 cal ammo box and um, they were like a size 28 waist and I'm like a size 38-40 so I was like okay I don't know any uh, stick insects so um, what am I going to do with them so I thought I'll make some pouches for my Bergen um, you can buy them online they're about £10.50 for two or three uh, reasonable sized ones that are prepaid but I thought well I've got these trousers I'm not going to use them um, so I'll chop them up and I'll use them. It's my lunch. Get out of the way. Uh, so here we go. That's what's left of one leg. And, uh, I've made some pouches which I have some photos of which I'll show you. And um, these are the British DPM Gore-Tex. Well, you can see it's playing up. Over trousers, NATO. Okay, so hem end. This is the waist end. I've already made four or five pouches out of these for different things, but today, because I'm crazy, I thought I'd make a cutlery pouch because uh, I only carry a fork and spoon because I carry my legume knife, which. Um, as we all know, ooh, can't carry that in public, blah blah blah. But I only take it when I'm going out doing certain stuff. Uh, like when I go fishing or I go to the beach, camping or wherever. I don't take it out in public. And nobody knows I've got it. Because it's not something I flash about. This is just um, my 40th birthday present from my brother in France. You can buy him about 15 euros over there. They're not expensive, but they're really pretty knives. They've got a little B on the top, uh, which is really pretty. I like that. Anyway, it's a lock knife, which is uh, it's about a four and a half inch blade. Uh, very nice. Um, anyway, that's my knife, and that's my cordura pouch for it. I don't use leather and stuff because I've got so many of these things kicking about from torches or whatever. Uh, and that was actually a torch pack that came with, I think it was my Maglite. Oh, I got it from my Maglite. I bought it from an army store, the US Marine Corps down in South Sea. Anyway, boring, move on. Right, so this is just a little bit of off cut I had left. So I thought I'd build a pouch. Um, it's all inside out sewing. You measure what you want, mark it off with a pen. As you can see, I've done the lines down the side across the bottom, and I've got to mark off that side. Uh, sorry about the wire, guys. And uh, uh, it's on charge. It gives the best results this way. Right, so I've marked up where and what size. This is the hem. This will run down the thingy. Um, and I move, and I find what's best. There's the fork. There's the bottom. I want enough room for the fork to be in there. Okay, but with a decent underlay on the bottom, so turned over a flap. So then, when I sew it inside out, it won't be poking up the top up here because I want to put a piece of elasticated cord through so it's got a pull with a toggle so it stays shut. Okay, so when it's finished, it'll be basically it'll look like that. There's the there's a seam coming down. This will be underneath, and then it will be. You'll just see the top like that, basically. And then there'll be a nice toggle coming off, so you can pull it tight, and it will pull through that line and hold tight. And then, anyway, that's the first bit. Uh, we'll do this, and then uh, I'll do some sewing, show you it, do some more sewing, and show you it as I'm going along, and then it'll be a finished product. It's a little bit of a project, um, I'm working nights, might as well get it done. Right. 
Okay, guys, this is the, um, the shape it's going to be. I've all folded it over and pinned it. And this is the shape it's going to be. As you can see, there's enough room for it to hit the bottom and then not hit the top. And this is where you can see where it's a seam tam. And this will be the hole here, either side. And this is where the elastic will come out and toggle. So it can pull shut and scrunch. Okay, so it's just making a pouch. It's made of Gore-Tex material, it's ripstop, it's tough hardware and stuff. And um, it's going to be a nice little addition to my bag. Um, I'm going to make one for my uh, 58 pattern bottle, uh, just a drawer stack with some of the stuff I've got left over here. Uh, because that way um, I've got a one litre Nalgene bowl, which I'm going to make a uh, cover for. And then I've got my 58 pattern cup aluminium and my bottle which I'm going to make a all-in-one case for. I don't have it on my belt because um, if I'm stopping for water I tend to stop and um, it's in the side pouch you just get it out. Um, and I've got a camelback, DPM camelback which is in there so I use that and then I'll top my camelback up or I'll use my one litre Nalgene to top up the camelback so okay. So, all in all, I can carry about 4 litres of water. It is heavy, extra weight, but when you're walking around here in summer, it can be 28, 30 degrees, and, you know, it's hot, so you're drinking a lot of water. Okay, right, let's start stitching this, and I'll show you the uh, finished product. Okay, that took me about half an hour to uh, finish off the stitching. I'll turn it inside out. So you can see where the stitching is on the inside, and just, this is the finished product. There's the uh, seam, uh, which has made me resize and everything because the seam on this piece of scrap uh, material, uh, when I sized it all out, the cutlery wouldn't fit inside. So I've changed it around a bit. I've now made it so then it will house my the dual knife. Uh, my fire striker. Oh, also about these lagoon knives or lagoon knives, whatever they're called. They have the three pits on the top. When you put that down to magnesium, lovely. And I know what you're thinking. That's a stainless steel blade. It's not a carbon blade, but it's a fifteen-dollar heavy knife. You can batten with it with another stick or whatever. They're rock solid. They're made to last. You can see the thickness of the it's a full tang knife that goes all the way down to the end basically so right let's try that again it goes the whole length basically there's only that little bit of curve there this is for the catch to lock it and unlock it so it basically goes from there all the way down to there so it's a pretty good knife um, just keep it oiled up it's got a wood handle uh, it's a nice little knife, I like it. Anyway, there's my fire star. Um, I got it online on eBay. It's seen some serious use. <laughs> uh, it's even got a little compass in the top. It is quite um, accurate. I've taken it against my silver. And this is my silver point torch, which is LED. Um, it's got a lovely little. Um, square LED kind of fitting in the end. It's ultra bright um, and it takes two AA batteries and I would say they've probably got a three, four hundred hour life um, continuous use on off. I don't know if you've ever seen the silver points before but um, it's nice. Oh and that around the top is uh, 25 metres of double strength cotton uh, which I use for catching small bait fish and whatever, for pike fishing and whatever. So that's my kit, which is now going to live in here. Now on the top up here, you can see it double over, doubles over this side where I've made the stitching. So now the thread's going to go through there and out the other side, and it will come to here. So it will have just a little tiny drawstring which will pull it tight. Or I could go the other way and make the hole there and there, and then thread some paracord through with two knots, and then it would have a drawstring out there. So um, I will finish that off 
in that day and I will uh, add the photos uh, to the photos I've already got the pouches I've already made which I will show you and I will put that on the internet alright thanks